upset the first time I saw about raining iguanas. They can be injured, but for the most part, they're usually okay. But I got worried they hit their head. Okay, let's talk about what's going on. It's cold right now. It feels like 18 degrees in some of our counties in Tennessee. 29 right now. It's actually 32 in Memphis, but you can see the surrounding areas mostly we're all cold, but we're all about layers today because we're going to see these temperatures climbing quickly. So 38 around 9 o'clock heading up to 62 degrees. Yes, that is correct. We are only 10 degrees above average today. Sunshine, a few clouds, even as we head towards sunset, these nice south winds keeping us in the 50s. So it is going to be a pretty nice day for us overall. Now rain wise, we haven't had to deal with that for a while. It's going to be minimal of Tuesday into Wednesday. A 60% chance up to about 80, even 90% at times, sometimes overnight into Thursday but not just rain and we'll get to that. We drop off Friday 10% and then we're quiet through the weekend. But all right, even though uh, we haven't seen any rain in a while, we're potentially about to see upwards of about mm, three to four inches of rain for most areas. So heavy rainfall, you need to prepare for that. Make sure your gutters, your uh, drains are all cleared out. But it's not necessarily just rain. Rain is likely. This is again Thursday. We'll see that in the morning with temperatures in the 50s. But cold air, that Arctic push that we just talked about, that Groundhog Day. I know it's Wednesday, but takes a little bit longer to get to us. We're going to see that coming through. We'll be in the 20s and 30s by the afternoon, so that means any kind of rain that's still pushing through. It's going to be freezing rain and sleet. So we got this cold front with that colder air coming in behind it. And as you'll see, I don't even, I just don't like even looking at it right now. But here's uh, Tuesday into Wednesday. We got heavy rainfall Wednesday morning potentially. This is a long range model. Keep that in mind. So it is a little bit, uh, it's going to take time for us to really get a, a firmer grasp on this. But as you get into Wednesday afternoon and evening, that heavy rain continues. You start to see that switch over Wednesday night. It continues into Thursday. But look at all that heavy rain. Our hope is that, that it stays right rain and not completely switching over into that freezing rain and sleet snow really not a big option here maybe a few flakes here and there unfortunately for us it looks more like an icy kind of event but hopefully because we've been so warm it won't be that worrisome so 62 today 65 tomorrow with our low we wake up on groundhog day at 51 anxiously awaiting don't know don't about punxsutawney phil Carlos here in Cargillville going to give us the lowdown on what it is, uh, what our weather is going to be like. As you can see, 60 degrees, though, we drop down to 34 with a low of 22. So it is bitter by the time we get Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Not getting much better. We should be around 52 and 34. Those average numbers will continue to go up over the uh, well from here on out. So that's good news. As far as the roadways go, guess what? Nothing's changed. We got a few issues going on. So let's take a look at those again.